Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this new uh, Edge Team functional update. Uh, let's get started. So um, I'm Remy, I'm the Edge Team lead, and uh, today we'll go through uh, some uh, achievements, uh, two, three OKRs, and and then questions. So uh, first achievement, um, Jenchin joined the team. Uh, so Jenchin was in the CI CD team. Uh, he joined the, the Edge team, and he will help us uh, crush our Q3 OKRs. So welcome, Jenchin. He, he is already uh, he has already contributed uh, a few uh, awesome things to the Edge team. So I'm really excited about that. Um, second achievement. So. Um, we uh, we made uh, the pipelines and and uh, specifically the the feature tests um, faster by uh, basically bypassing the login uh, procedure. So um, just to uh, to uh, explain briefly, um, every feature test um, basically uh, starts with almost all of them basically start with uh, signing. A user and then performing some actions um, in the in the in the website and um, and the, the thing is uh, actually go to the sign page filling the form and submitting the form is taking a few seconds um, in each uh, feature test a few yeah few seconds and by just um, bypassing this step which which is uh, already tested uh, uh, separately. Uh, we can save a few seconds for each test, and uh, hopefully it will uh, it, it uh, reduce the duration of the pipelines. So as you can see in the in the graph, it's not obvious because our runners are um, affected by loud neighbors. So we we don't see a, a big drop, but uh, as um, as you can uh, see for yourself, the pipelines now run more in the average of 50 minutes, uh, where they they were running more like uh, in 75 minutes uh, previously. So thanks, uh, Robert, for finding this uh, for and for uh, changing uh, the, the implementation. And uh, in this uh, subject, uh, we also uh, merged. 27 test related image requests uh, in the 9.4 uh, night zone. So, and yeah, the next achievement is uh, kind of related. So we, we are replacing uh, Spinac with uh, RSpec. Um, Spinac was a behavior-driven uh, 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 development uh, library, testing library. And uh, we just replace it with RSpec, and it uh, it allows uh, it allowed us to uh, reduce the parallelization of Spinac jobs on the CI and to and and, and increase the aspect ones. Um, so I think that that also uh, helps a bit uh, to have uh, faster pipelines. And uh, yeah, thanks Blackstone and Alexander Randa uh, from the community um, for for the. the migration from Spinac to RSpec. Uh, we also enable a few more Robocop uh, cups. So this is uh, uh, to have uh, more static analysis um, checks. Next achievement uh, is about uh, community merge requests. So we merge uh, 64 community merge requests in uh, 9.4. Uh, as you can see, uh, we we did we did better, but we also did uh, worse. So uh, that's uh, that's still pretty good, I think. Um, and yeah, our community is uh, very active. Um, for example, for the for the internationalization of GitLab, we are uh, we currently have a lot of uh, magic quest for that, and that's awesome. Um, next achievement is about GitLab QA. So if you if you don't know uh, how GitLab QA works, I uh, I uh, encourage you to uh, to check it out with the first link. Uh, it's uh, something I, I wrote because I was uh, 
having a hard time understanding how it how it works. So feel free to read it and improve it. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the actual achievement is that uh, you can now um, uh, run QA uh, against any uh, commit, uh, so any CE or EE merge request, basically. And this was a team effort, uh, so thanks uh, Balasankar and Gregorsh, uh, especially for that. And um, yeah, the next uh, slide is uh, actually shows you actually how to, to do that. So uh, maybe you, you've already um, seen, but you, you have a new uh, build package for a few uh, weeks uh, now, the build package. Job. So if you, if you play it, it will uh, actually trigger a, a, a pipeline uh, in Omnibus. And uh, what, what this pipeline does is it will uh, build a new package and then build a Docker image for it, uh, from it, and then um, uh, actually run the QA um, scenarios against it. Uh, so it, uh, it currently takes uh, some time to run. Uh, but um, the build team plans to speed up uh, the, the, the specific uh, triggered jobs. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next, uh, Q3 OKRs. Uh, so um, for the Q3, we'll basically focus on three um, areas. So the first one is productivity of, of the GitLab developers. Um, in general, so from the team and from the community. Uh, so the first key result uh, will be to have the pipelines uh, running in 30 minutes. Uh, they are currently running in 15 minutes, as I said before. Um, so we'll, we'll need to see uh, if we can find some quick wins, like the bypassing and the signing, or if it will uh, result to uh, just throwing more hardware at it. I uh, will see. Um, the next one is uh, to um, uh, detect and, and retry flaky tests uh, in a smart way so that uh, we don't have a broken master. Um, uh, like today, we, we, we often have uh, red master uh, commits. And uh, we, we plan to detect the flaky test and kind of uh, ignore them uh, or retry them in a smart way and uh, and ultimately fix them of course um, the next one is uh, so will be to uh, try to merge CE into EE uh, daily which is uh, already done but it's done manually uh, today so the plan is to uh, do it automatically using uh, schedule pipelines um, and also to uh, refactor the, the code base in a way that uh, we avoid conflicts beforehand. Uh, otherwise, the, the automatic merges will, will still require a lot of human labor, so that would be pointless. Uh, and the, the last point in, in the productivity area will be to uh, um, be able to uh, run uh, GDK uh, on Kubernetes uh, using uh, MiniQ to abstract away the, the GDK installation and, and setup. Um, next area will be about quality. So it will uh, be uh, about GitLab QA and uh, basically test uh, a few critical components uh, like backup restore, uh, LDAP integration, uh, container registry, and Mattermost. Uh, because we we uh, often not often but uh, from time to time we we have some bad regressions about these features, so it's good to test them at a high level and and ensure that uh, they still work as uh, as intended. Um, the next point is about triage policies. Uh, we'll try to enforce them uh, automatically. And uh, yeah, to keep our issue trackers sane and under control because it's uh, it's growing uh, uh, it's growing fast. Um, so we we'll, we we'll see what we can do, but we'll use uh, a schedule pipeline also for that. 
And the last uh, area of uh, focus will be about performance. Uh, the first point is to uh, ship a, a script, a seeder, to, to, uh, to seed uh, basically a lot of records uh, in the database for developers to, uh, to uh, kind of uh, be able to experience uh, performance problems uh, locally. Um, so it will not be uh, as a prediction of environment, um, uh, of course, but uh, it will already reproduce the, the problems that can happen with, with a lot of records. Um, and then the last point is enabling bullet uh, by default on the CI. So bullet is a, is a, a, a tool to uh, detect and avoid n plus one query problems. Uh, and uh, yeah, the plan is to enable it on the CI to uh, detect the issues and to avoid new issues. And that's, that's it for the edge team Q3 OKRs. Um, if you have questions like what's the edge team um, or where can I find statistics about our test suite, um, you the links. And if you have more questions, I will Take a look at the chat. Um, what's the average merge community merge request? Um, I'm not sure I get it. Um, what's the average uh, count of uh, merge, merge request? Maybe? Uh, yeah. So the average community merge request that we get per version. Yeah. Um, so if you take a look at, at the graph again, um, I will share it again. Um, if you take a look at the graph, um, in average, it's, yeah, I would say it's around 60 uh, in average. Uh, you can see that for 9.0, we had uh, like uh, one, more than 130. Uh, probably, uh, but most of the time it's more like 60. Um, so it, it also depends on the, the load on, on reviewers, of course, and maintainers. So it's, uh, it's uh, not always the same, but uh, I think we are, we are doing a pretty good job. Um, so I will try to, I don't know, I cannot see the, yeah, okay. Chat. Uh, how large do I need an Excel drive for the DB? Um, what was the context for this question? Uh, for the uh, large production like uh, test seeder. Okay. Um, how large? Um, how large? Uh, probably like, uh, I mean, it depends. You, you will be able to uh, limit the, the number of records created, but uh, I think a good number is uh, is like one one million projects. Um, I think that's uh, that would be a, a good goal. So I, I'm not sure how um, how how large it means uh, on the file system, but uh, I think that's okay. And yes, there was the troll uh, emoji. So okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, if there's no other questions, uh, thanks for uh, listening. And I will give you back uh, 16 minutes of your time and see you in the team call. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.